Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today I'm bringing you something I am calling DIY card sketches. I got this fun little stamp set from Art Impressions called Crazy Antics, and I love when they create silly stamps with weird animals on them that we normally don't ever get to color. It's kind of a nice challenge to try something new. So I got out my Copic markers to color each one of these up and I've stamped them just in the center of a piece of cream Nina cardstock just for something different than white. And I'm gonna trim them out in different shapes and then be able to add them to cards. And I'm just gonna zoom through the coloring here real quickly because this video is more about the DIY sketch idea than it is about the coloring. But I thought I'd tell you a little bit about anteaters while we're doing the coloring. Anteaters and aardvarks are not the same thing. I went to do some research and found that out because I was looking for the ant and the aardvark cartoon that I remember from the Pink Panther show that used to be on. It was a cartoon version and it was hilarious and I considered making these like a purplish blue color because that's the color that the aardvark is. But I did not know that aardvarks and anteaters are not the same, even though they both eat ants. And so there you go. You learn something new every day. Thank you, internet. There are also lots of resources online to find all different kinds of patterns on anteaters because there are like a huge diverse type of anteater and there's all sorts of things that you can color them in different ways and I'm going to just color mine in more naturalistic colors because I thought these would be fun for masculine birthday cards. With guys I tend to try not to do too many bright colors. I know that there are some guys who probably like that but a lot of guys are just a little, little less on the foo-foo side so I wanted to make some cards that were fun, that would make a guy laugh, and in more masculine colors. So they're going to be all neutral, since that's what the colors are for realistic anteaters. There is one video that I'm not going to link to because it actually is somewhat offensive. It has its 12-year-old uh, boy potty humor stuff in it. You can imagine with an anteater with a tongue that long that does things with it that there would be some potty humor out there but it, if you're into that kind of thing or you know you have a husband who's into 12 year old boy potty humor then you can look up the pangolins posse video but if you get offended by things then please don't watch it because it is definitely on the offensive side but it had a lot of educational information in there in between all of the potty humor so just about done with these guys, and as I said, I'm going to cut them into different shapes. And with card sketches, you're given kind of parameters for what you're supposed to do with the card, whether it's going to be a square or a circle, and I change those up often when I use a sketch. I don't follow them exactly. So when I do something like this, it allows me the freedom to come up with my own thing. So what I did was cut out rectangles. I did one with a die cut. A circle and a die cut rectangle and I started moving them around on different card bases I just wanted to play around with which one was going to look great on the black which one might be better on another color is there something I liked with one more than another and then I had all kinds of scraps and I don't keep a lot of scraps around but I keep my black scraps because I use them for layering quite a bit and I have this giant stack when I did this major project I had all of these like two inch long, really long strips of black. So I used a lot of that in here and it worked well for the masculine cards to do that. But I just cut them into different types of strips and started laying them out and seeing what worked and using double strips and single strips. When I was happy with where the strips were on the cards, I then started moving, I glued them down and started moving the pictures around to see which stamped image would be better. I put a layer on that one on the right hand side, I put a layer on the one on the left hand side, and that made them pop on the, the designs themselves, which was nice. And then I started doing my little embellishing. I started stamping the ants, especially on the anteaters that didn't have ants in the picture, so that whoever receives this is gonna understand it's an anteater card. Because some people may not know what an anteater looks like. And I probably wouldn't have recognized it if somebody sent me a card with 
this little guy on it, I wouldn't have known that that's what an anteater looks like necessarily. But with an ant in the picture, then I do know what that is. So I thought that they were really fun cards to make and challenged me to try something with a really limited palette and to figure out a way to invent my own designs for my cards with pattern paper types of pieces and not using any sketches to start with. So feel free to borrow that idea next time you're trying to figure out a card design. Just cut up some papers and start layering them and see how they look. And I have all of the supplies listed in the doobly-doo. I will see you again in the next video. Take care.